I'm giving an update. I have a little bit more of a voice this week than I had last week or the last time I posted. I have been getting steroid infusions every morning for the past two days and I have one last today and then I'm going to be on a little bit of an oral taper that goes right up to the day that I go to Chicago on Sunday and I will be there for two weeks. I'm missing my girls' performances. So if you have nothing to do, I encourage you to go see the Austin City Ballet production of The Nutcracker. Not just because the fabulous Polly and Jelly Nickens will be dancing, but because of all of the amazing dancers and the incredible dance director. They've been working so hard for so long on this. And um, if you want tickets, it's austincityballet.org and somewhere there you can find them. But this is a big week because this is about to go. So I thought that I would use this special time with you, my friends on the internet, to get wiggy with it. So let's do this. Ta-da! First, let me say, there is never a bad hair day with a synthetic wig. Okay, let me see. Well, maybe just that one hair out of place. But I used to love playing with Barbie heads, and now I get to be a Barbie head. When I first went to pick out my wig, I went by myself. I had this moment of, oh, I have to get a wig, and it was a little bit sad. And then I put on this bald cap and saw how very much I look exactly like my brother Matt. This is the Sierra. This is my natural shh hair color. Who needs three wigs? Nobody. Three synthetic wigs. Nobody needs that many. Um, but when you do anything with Bruce and Pat Griner, the one wig that you plan on going home with suddenly becomes three, and you end up with I don't remember the name of this one, but I call it the Elsa because I can braid it. And if I could hit the note, I would launch into the entire high version of Let It Go right now. But I'm going to spare you that because you guys would probably click end and let me go. This one. It's made of bamboo and some kind of elastic. And it's so soft. And I live with a bald bunny and he tells me that it's cold when you get out of the shower and um, I'm cold all the time anyway. So anyway, I wanted to show you the one I would probably always be wearing when I'm not, I don't know, wearing the other thing. I was originally going to go to Mexico. I plotted and planned and got an early date, um, moved from uh, June, I think, was the original date and it was moved to January because I called and called and called and made it happen. Ended up with the trip to Chicago just because the people in my life were saying, why would you go to Mexico? So I went to Chicago and I'm so glad I did. While the doctors in Mexico were confident in using my MRI from my hospital stay in September, the doctors in Chicago uh, back at the beginning of November needed to do a new MRI, which was the one that showed all of the new lesions and the um, growing lesions in the area that caused the paralysis. So I'm so glad that I went. I'm also happy I went because uh, the doctors in Chicago have been able to develop a partnership with my doctor here in Austin. And there are two more of my doctor, my Austin doctor, Dr. Morherledge, two more of his patients will be going up to Chicago for treatment. The word is getting out. This is an alternative to uh, taking medicines for the rest of your life. It's a lot of time and it's... Um, expensive right now uh, once it becomes standard of care in 2020 or 2022 insurance uh, will be better at granting acceptance for this treatment and we're still praying that that's going to come through we're in the appeals process right now but once this does become available people don't have to go to Chicago they can um, stay in their hometowns and do the treatment there so I guess that's one of the reasons that I'm going. I'm going because I want to be cured. I don't want to take medicine anymore. And I was encouraged by my visits with the doctors in Chicago who said, this will work for you. You will leave in January and no longer have MS. I'm ready to go. I feel a lot of peace. Everything that I worked and planned for Mexico was easily blown away. Um, the Bible uses the word chaff like chaff. It was just 
um, blown away the second I stepped foot in Chicago. Um, it wasn't because they are better doctors. Um, it was because the will of God was for me to walk that way. Um, I prayed with my friend Gary Ramirez. I prayed that I would see God's power, and I have. And I have a witness to it as my dad has been walking step by step with me. I have a witness witnesses to it at home my, and my children and my husband who have seen the hand of God, the power of God in covering them with, um, I mean, financially with helping all the people who have helped pay for the treatment and um, the people who've provided meals, the people who have given rides and given extra love and have, are planning to give extra love to my kids while I'm gone for two weeks in September, um, to September, December, um, and for almost a month in January. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop my planning and my plotting. I'm going to continue to walk with the Holy Spirit and God the Father and Jesus the Son directing me because it's better. That way is better. And I feel an, an enormous amount of peace. Um, I know that it's going to be tough. I don't know that I've ever met anyone who said, chemo is super easy and fun. We should do it. But I'm going to do it, and um, it's going to work. So please continue to pray. Thank you for all you've done and all you're doing. And we woke up the other morning, and um, another $4,000 had been added to the GoFundMe. It, it brings me to tears when I think about y'all loving us and your goodness towards us, and I'm grateful. So thank you. I'll give you more updates during the time I'm in Chicago, and um, I love you all. Thank you so much.